Hello everyone, Nebris here. I am on my tower. Still as awesome as ever. Um, I've been working slowly on this neck. Uh, it's pretty much almost done. <laughs> pretty much almost done. <laughs> um, <clears throat> let's uh, give you guys a decent idea of what's going on up in here. Remember all this stuff that I did? Yeah, I just made it better. I basically added all the stair blocks that were missing. That was, that was it, really. I did use them quite heavily. Uh, so yeah, this is the new and improved um, neck area. There's going to be glass panes here. It's going to... It looks a lot better from the outside than the in, which is kind of weird, but oh well. Um, so let's go to the top of this guy and check it out. This is, um, I don't have the little Anubis thing, the four corner pillar things in yet, but those are going to go in very soon. I think I want to finish the top and then just work my way down with obsidian. I am not looking forward to gathering the obsidian that I need. That's going to take forever. And I'm pretty set on the obsidian. That's, that's going to be the thing. Maybe not for the little side pillars, uh, but definitely for the um, the corner ones. So this is one thing I wanted to show you guys. Last time I tried it, I got a vintage beef. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. We yep. Ah, <laughs> uh, that sucks. I don't think I had anything too valuable though. I'm gonna have to increase that because it used to be that three was enough, but that is not the case anymore. I should probably get out of here before. Respecking. So, um. Oh, Etho's on. I haven't seen him in a while. The, um, Etho, the wedding manager. The wedding planner. <laughs> um. If anyone wants to get that joke, <laughs> uh, someone had asked what his job was because he's not going to be available for videos over the next month or so. Um, I don't know what the deal is with that. I don't know what he does for a living, but someone had asked what he does, and I jokingly said, well, this is the time of uh, year where people start getting married, so he's probably a wedding planner. But uh, actually, the evidence points to him being somewhere in the agricultural business. But uh, I, I don't know. It's a mystery to me. So up here, I have been working on my sheep farm lately, and it's not the most exciting thing in the world. But let's check it out for a second. That's uh, one of the reasons I brought these half slabs down with me. Made a whole bunch more sheep. Tons more. I came in here. Originally it was eight in every pen. I came up here with two stacks of wheat and just went around to each of these guys. And now there are 12 in each pen. However, due to a magical little glitch, um, some of them have 13 in them. That is caused because if you get a whole bunch of sheep uh, nice and frisky together, if there's like more than two, occasionally multiple ones will get pregnant and produce a baby sheep. Yeah, so three sheep can sometimes make two babies when they're all, you know, in the special mode. So that happened. Right now I am currently working on getting the flooring done. I still have to decide what I'm going to do with the walls, and I think I want to do the entirety of each ceiling block in their color of wool, but I want to replicate the pattern of the pumpkins on the ceiling, except instead of pumpkins, glowstone. Um, the walls and, ceil and this part of the ceiling are quite bland at the moment. Um, I'm thinking about replacing them with something else. Uh, not quite sure what, though. And I kind of regret putting all the monochrome things in one pen because, uh, well, as you can see here, it, it's very uncolorful compared, uncolorful, not very colorful compared to the other ones. Wow, it looks like everyone's getting home from work. <laughs> uh, it was just me and Badge when I started. You know what? I think it's time that I did another prank. So far, I've only gotten Badge and, I guess, it's been a while since I've gotten good with anything. I think the last thing I did against him was the cake floor, and that was over a year ago, I want to say. Wow, so that is something I need to focus on. Coming up with my next prank. I'm going to put these in here for later. 
saw my wool. So yeah, um, not sure what I want to do today. I think, oh, there goes Paws. Yesterday was his birthday. Say happy birthday, Paws. Happy birthday, Paws. Thanks, guys. Um, so I'm kind of anxious to get started on my village over here. I know, I know I'm doing like 50 different projects at once, but I don't think I've ever been up here in a video before. Well, this one have been a great spot to hide in. Anywho, um, kind of want to get started on that village over here in the brown one. As for this guy over here, I'm not happy with white, so it's that's definitely going to change, because I really do not like it being white. Uh, the two suggestions that I got were orange and magenta. Orange seemed to be a fan favorite, but being from Pittsburgh, I'm not a big fan of the color orange. Um, there's no good explanation for that, but um, if you're from Pittsburgh, you will understand why we hate the color orange. That'll just have to be a mystery to everyone else. So that's probably going to be magenta. But if enough fans are insistent on it being orange, uh, then it'll, it will be orange. The thing is, right now, I'm using a relatively... Um, oh gosh, there's a word for this. It starts with an A, I think. An affordance. Yes, that's the word. Oh, one second, Ethos talking. We must all be silent and allow him to speak. Um... Yeah, I'll, I'll get to that in a second. Um, an affordance is when like something is suggestive, uh, suggestive of its purpose. So, oh yeah, plenty of those. Um, fermented or not? I don't. I don't really have that many fermented ones, but he just wants the regular spider eyes. He's he's gonna be in for a treat when he discovers the quad spawner. All right, we're going to the quad spawner. Um, so an affordance is when something is suggestive of its purpose. Uh, the colors are supposed to be affordances. This is my mining area. The blue represents lapis and diamond. The um, red is the redstone lab. Green is the farm. Uh, yellow is livestock. Not too much an affordance there. Purple is the portal, um, which is the purple is the color of the portal. Or, uh, brown is the village, black is a mystery, and white is unassigned at the moment, so I guess that is a very nice affordance. So anyways, I'm going to meet Etho at my uh, quad times, four times spider spawner. It's actually, there's five of them. Okay, meet me in my nether area. Alright, um, we'll be back in a moment with other stuff. I don't know if we're going to go on an adventure with Etho or not, but uh, I'll see you guys in a few seconds. Um, yay. Etho just gave me a half stack of TNT. I'm going to blow up his house. <laughs> and I'm back. So as you guys saw, I was over here with Etho in the spider spawner, the four times spider spawner that we have. Uh, the gyms made this, and uh, Etho was pleasantly pleased with it. <laughs> um... I think you might have some ideas for improvements, but you know, it, it's really good as it is. And I'd like to try try it out. Give it a shot. So, Etho got his uh, spider stuff, gave me his TNT. Don't really need that string, but I just brewed a whole bunch of these guys, and I plan on using them. Not all of them, but some of them. So... <clears throat> Time for me to do some spider grinding because I really need that uh, obsidian, and to get that, I think I want a a, uh, a pick with fortune, not fortune, uh, efficiency five on it. So I'm just gonna wait here, grind my way up to level fifty or so, and hopefully my next pick will be an efficiency four or five. Uh, actually, what happened earlier is I was grinding a whole bunch. You you actually got to see some of this on uh, B00's video, I think it was. I, I was in my zombie grinder, got all the way up to level 47, and then got disconnected with a whole bunch of zombies. When I reconnected, they all escaped and killed me. So I lost every level. I went down... I went from 47 to 6. That's how bad this game is at enchanting. So Notch... Fix the enchanting system, please.
<laughs> Alright, I will be back with you guys once this thing is full of spideys. Okay, guys, we are back, and judging by the E that you can see in the top left corner, it says 120, 132 out of 173. I'm guessing that's the number of entities visible on the screen. Not 100% certain, but, you know, when I look away, it goes down to zero. When I look there, it shoots up to 130-something. So I'm guessing there are at least 130 spiders down there, 140 now. So here we go. Boom! Okay, so how many did I kill? 200? <laughs> Negative 100? Holy cow. Um, now I'm really confused. So I'm just gonna keep sending these damage pots down there. Wow! I think they all just died. Okay, so now I'm gonna head down there myself. Holy cow, did I just cause a lag spike. So I'm gonna see what I can do to get all this experience. I believe I was at level 5 when I started, and pretty early into that level. Hold on, my phone is going off for once. Oh, oh, no, it stopped. I've been having problems with my phone lately. The vibration thing stopped working, so um, I can't put it on vibrate anymore. And I, I, I've always had it on vibrate, so I have really stupid ringtones and, well, the default ringtones, and, the, and they're awful. Ah, but anyways, I'm due for a new phone in August, I believe it is, so oh, the waiting game starts. See, I hardly ever use my phone to begin with, so I'm still on my mother's plan, and she really can't threaten to kick me off because then I... She, she knows as well as I do that I would just not have a phone then <laughs> because I hardly ever use it. So that's a threat she can't use against me. Sorry, Mom. No. Um, but yeah... What she has been doing is giving my sisters all my phone upgrades for the last three years. Actually, it's been going on for longer than three years. Who am I kidding? I, I just I never get a phone upgrade. It's always someone else in my family until like my phone breaks. Because apparently I don't use my phone enough. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's what's happening. So I'm going to wait for this to... Uh, bump back up again in activity. We got 15 levels out of that, and that was only waiting for like 10 minutes, so that makes me happy. This thing is very effective. And I will see you guys in a bit until, you know, I will see you guys when we have enough for level 50 enchantment. So, peace out until then. Hey guys, I'm back, and actually... Need to tell Packrat that I'm recording so I don't he doesn't say something he shouldn't. Um <clears throat> he he's working on something pretty cool. Oh, should get rid of these torches first. I only managed to get to level forty eight because that was the stopping point, I guess. So we're gonna do a level forty eight enchantment, see what it brings. The randomizer's a lot better, so it shouldn't take too long to get a forty eight or something you know, reasonably high. Just skipped over 46. There's another one. Come on, guy. So I was checking out a new apartment today, and it is amazing. Me and uh, my potential future roommate really like it, and we're going to pounce on that. So 47, that's good enough. Let's take it. All right, guys. Time to do some predictions. What do you guys think I got? <laughs> I think I got an Unbreaking 3, Silk Touch 1. That is my guess. Let's see what I got. Fortune 3, Efficiency 4. Not bad. I'll feel bad using it because it's Efficiency 4. You know, maybe some... Or because it's also Fortune 3, but, you know, maybe somebody else needs a Fortune 3 and I can trade it for an equivalent. Um, I have it on Breaking Through that's Fortune 3. And then there's this guy, which is the, you know, the combination of the two. And then, then I have my Silk Touch pick, which is going to last me forever, I hope. So that's, I would have much rather had Unbreaking in Efficiency 4 so I could use it more. But, you know, I'm happy with this. It's going to get me a lot of Obsidian. So, yeah. Oh, I still have F3 on. That's going <laughs> to be annoying. So, yeah, all is well in the world of numbers again. I've had my third Fortune 3. That's kind of ridiculous. I've been using this one for uh, coal. Because, yay, coal! <laughs>
I've been doing so much smelting. So I don't know where to go from here. Um, maybe we'll do Packrat's thing. I think he's made a scavenger hunt, and I'm going to see if I can get uh, somebody else to join me. Badge is on. Uh, maybe we'll get Beef and uh, what's his name? Pause. Happy birthday, pa <laughs> Pause. Uh, sorry. It just, I had a brain fart. I don't hate you, Pause. Guys, never say it's pause. No. <laughs> Let's not start that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let's, uh, let's see what we can do about that. So, I will see you guys in a bit. Hey, everyone. I'm back, and it's been a few days since I did the last bit of recording. And news has come out that they're redoing the uh, ice block. So, now you can actually get it with Silk Touch again. But this time, it's not going to break properly in the nether as it used to. So, what I'm going to do is actually make use of it. I've dug out this little area here. This is going to be my water chamber. Hmm. So here we go. Hopefully this behaves the way I think it will. Yep. Now I have a pool of water in here. I'm going to have glowstone in there. I'm, I need to redo this. I think I'm actually going to start on this nether wart farm eventually. But what I want to do is, um, similar to Etho, I, I also had um, the desire to create a nether base that just uses this water. It'll cascade down here and eventually go into all the systems that I need it to go into. Um, I do like this m method of planting uh, nether wart. Basically, you just run along the side, like so, and just plant it as it, as it goes, and then get a wall of pistons to just push it off. Uh, that's the plan for that, and once they do push off, um, there'll be some troughs at the very bottom of it that'll collect all of the um, these guys. The only issue I've been having is it being, you know, the right number of levels. See this thing that we were using to prevent us from going here? If we add another one here, this stuff can't fall on top of it. So that, that I've been trying to work around that. Actually, I haven't been working on it at all. I've just sort of... I have the idea in my head of what I want this to be, and it's just not, you know, being that right now. So that's what I've been up to. Um, this is more or less going to be the same as it's, all, it's always been nothing worth writing home about. So yeah, um, this is going to change a lot eventually, but it's pretty low on my list of priorities of things I want to finish, the tower being numero uno. So uh, that's it for this segment. I think I'm probably going to give you guys one more thing, maybe two, I don't know. I have no idea. You'll see in a minute though. Hello everyone, me again. We are back uh, at the gym spawner, and you know what? We just uh, came from here um, a couple minutes ago. Actually, I have no idea how long ago that was. I've, I've done so much. This episode has got to be the most disjointed one I've ever done, and across so many uh, days. But you know, I'm completely lost. He redid the spawner, or the quad spawner. Um, so it's all different now, and I've just learned how to use it. So what you do is this thing needs to be down, this thing needs to be up, get spiders to collect by standing here, and activating this one, this one, this one, and this one. There's another spawner back here, but we can't activate it from uh, while well, also activating these two guys. So as you can see, I'm level 47 right now, and I would like to get a level 50 enchantment. So in order to kill these guys, you uh, close the hatches. This um, prevents more guys from getting up here into the uh, crushing area. Open this guy. Well, you don't have to open that guy right away, but hit the crusher! Yes, all the dying spiders. But they're not going to die from this, at least not all of them. Now, we're going to hit them with the harming pot, and boom! They die. Now, this creates an enormous amount of lag. Actually, that one didn't seem to create that much lag, but you know what? I don't know. How'd that guy get past the hatch? Oh, well, he's just going to be annoying. Oh, he probably glitched past it. Let's see how it is. 
So I'm going to get to level 50 and do my first level 50 enchantment on air with you guys. I think every time I've tried, I've failed miserably. And, like, I had to settle with, like, a 48 or a 49, you know, high 40s. So this time, I have enough for 50. Just barely enough, too. So, actually, I want to turn this guy off first because I should have done that before even starting or before killing them all. So I'm going to open up the hatches, open this guy up. I'm going to hit the crusher once more. And then, again, after that, because I just want to kill them at this point. You can see how the crusher is working. These guys are going to turn off slowly. It's pretty awesome. All right. Hit the crusher! Crush it for glory! Oh, that looks so cool. All right. Oh, they got me. They got my. They got my face. Okay, so here we go. I have no idea what's lighting this up. None whatsoever. Like there is no reason for this to be so well lit. Ah, <sighs> okay. Here we go. Level 50 enchantment. Wish me luck. It's gonna be on a pick. Even though I could really use it for a sword. Um. Yeah, that's not gonna work. See you guys once I have 50. Hello everyone, we are back, and we finally got to level 50, and I wanted you guys to be present for this, because you guys just love seeing Unbreaking 3, guys, don't you? Don't ya? Boom! Alright, another prediction for you guys, what's it gonna be? I'm saying Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 4, Fortune 3. Ooh! Ooh! Efficiency 5! Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, well, that's it for uh, this part. I think I'm going to finish off today's video by doing donations. It's been a while since... Where's the portal? Oh, yeah, he moved it down here. There it is. Oh, that's a nice easy way down. Um, so, yeah, get ready, guys. It's, uh, it's donation uh, honoring time. See you guys in a bit. Oh, one more thing. I just wanted to show you guys what I've been up to and why this has taken so long to get out. Uh, yeah, this is what I've been doing for the last week or so. Uh, that and filming Season 6. Yes, Season 6 of the Ultra Hardcore series. That was a blast. I got some amazing footage. You guys are gonna, you guys are gonna really enjoy it. Um... The other thing was the Guild Wars 2 beta. That was awesome, but I didn't get any footage of it because I, I I wanted to live stream it, but that never happened because I was too busy playing it. It was so much fun. Um, I'll do a, a video about my opinions on the game at some point in the near future. I have a lot to talk about it because it was a fantastic game um, so far. But that's, that's for another episode. Uh, it's time to do some... Uh, yeah, it's time to do some uh, honoring of donations because I've gotten a few more. And, you know what, I think I want to do a better walkthrough this time because last time I messed up and had my microphone in the wrong spot. Yeah, I know, I threw them there. Um, see, I feel kind of bad about that because those guys gave me money out of the kindness of their heart and I repaid them with a, a weird... Oh, I still have these instant damage potions. Um, so I, I repaid them not as well as I had hoped. I have this nice efficiency 4 there, and an efficiency 4 here, but it's my fortune pick. So yeah, I'm all set to start mining some more obsidian. I don't know what I'm going to do with these guys. Uh, I think I'll put them over here for now with my book collection. <laughs> uh, they're changing the recipe for books very soon in addition to... Uh, the nether ice thing. I, I went ahead and made a whole bunch of books too, so I am prepared for this next update. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to do my donation thing next. I need to first uh, get my act together, <laughs> remember to have my microphone in the right spot, and get all the blocks associated with the donations. I finally got the, um, I went to a stronghold 
Finally got those blocks. So those are now on the table. Still off the table are the is the end stone because we haven't gone to the end yet, but it has entered into our discussion once again. We're really looking forward to doing that, and hopefully we can do it soon because, you know what, we really want to start making an Enderman EXP farm because those things are so fast. All right, um, I've rambled. Donation time! Hello everyone, I am back and it is time for me to do justice to all the people who donated for me. My microphone is finally in the correct position. Um, <laughs> and I'm, I'm going to give you guys what you deserved. Okay, first up on our list is Ryan J. I I um, finally added his YouTube name, it is Max Ori, and let's get rid of that. I got you. What you really wanted was Mossy Stone Brick. Yes. Next on our list is Jesse C. Now, <clears throat> I couldn't tell whether this was a joke or the actual YouTube account, but I put it there anyways. <laughs> um, Adam H., you remember the guy with the button? Yeah, I moved the button, and it, it's still there. You can still see it. But his other request was a uh, nether brick stair facing this way. Did I get... Oh, I'm, I'm missing a block. Darn it. Forgot to grab the nether brick. Okay, Jessica T. Solar Dragons was Jessica's YouTube name. Um, no change there. There. Okay, Stein N. And yes, it was Stein. I was correct. Um, his username for YouTube is MadeFan. I hope I pronounced that even remotely correctly. It could be MadeFan. I don't know. Um, I, I do not speak any non-English language very good. <laughs> okay, William G. Um, Wabrot. That's a, that's a weird name. Yep, I'm going to continue with insulting the people who've donated to me. Okay, David B. He is Old Man Plays. Uh, what is, oh, I thought that was an Enderman for some reason. I, I'm I'm out of it. It's it is Monday. I'll blame that. Okay, Albert S. He wanted me to post first, so I did. Way to go, Albert. <laughs> okay, Shauna L. is Scottish lyrics. Um, TNT is still here. Um, Frederick B. is Ben Simon ninety four. Um, over here we have Christian J. Uh, he is DZ Adventure Zzz. Zzz. Z Z Stuart A is Total Soup. Um, yeah, uh, any relation to Total Biscuit? Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, oops. Connor R is Jutlanduk. Just kidding. That probably says Jutland UK. Oh nine. Uh, I'm guessing that is a reference to the Battle of Jutland, which is a famous World War One naval battle between the UK. Um, I don't know if it was the UK back then, but the UK, what is now the UK, and um, Germany? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a German fleet. <laughs> um, my history is, is pitiful. I mean, it's not pitiful, but um, I can say some really dumb things at times. <laughs> okay, um, oh, almost forgot. Um, our first new donation that we will speak of is all the way back here. Harry A., he donated to me another ten dollars, so that brings his running total up to twenty bucks. Um, thank you very much, Harry. Oh, almost forgot again. Evan B. Uh, wh where is he? He's somewhere around here. I don't think he. Where is he? Evan. Evan has a um, a Minecraft mod that I forgot to mention last time. Actually, I don't even remember if I forgot to mention it, but I'm fairly certain I did not put the link to that mod in the description because I sort of rushed to get that out. I have no idea why I rushed, but this time I'm not in a rush, so uh, Evan, you're getting your mod in the description below. Everyone check that out. Uh, I don't quite remember what it is. Hold on a second. It was something about glass. I want to say it's like colored glass or something. Um, I'm not a big mod fan. The only mod I've ever... Well, the only mod I really use is... Uh, 
Um, the Ultra Hardcore mod, which is an awesome mod. Okay, um, before I go rambling on that, Ryan D is Dwang. Um, John, thanks, John. And Soren S is Vinda. Vinda? Um, yeah, okay, so those are the, all the YouTube names that I forgot. Um, and another thing I also forgot to mention was that there was a another donation that uh, the person who donated requested that I do not give him a shrine, so I did not, and I forgot to mention the donation, though. So I would like to thank Jonas P. Uh, for donating $45. Thank you very much, Jonas. Um, okay, on to new donations. I know I forgot one of them, and there's one of them I can't do right away, but, you know, I will get it done. So, <clears throat> first up, we have Aaron PM. Uh, he requested I play, put his name like this, because uh, I don't I don't know, but you know what? You get re you request if you donate. So, he donated $15, and his block of choice was dirt. Plop. Thank you very much for donating, Aaron. Um, next on our list, we have... Oh, I sort of went out of order here. I went up and down. Or, yeah. I didn't... Last time I went, I zigzagged. This time I'm just doing it all weird. So next on our list, we have Troy Troy, who donated 42 cents. Again, any no donation is appreciated, even if it's 42 cents, but... um. I don't know if you guys know this, but PayPal takes a tiny little cut of the number, and it's not a percentage, it's like a few cents off of every, or it's just a few cents off the entire donation, sometimes a bit more if it's a large donation, but um, for a small donation like this, PayPal is going to get like 80% of it. So, I mean, it's appreciated, but just know that you're really paying PayPal more than anything, um, and it, PayPal's a nice service. They deserve to be paid for it. I'm not. I'm not mad, but uh, you know, that's just how it is. Any donation size is appreciated. I'm not mad at you, Troy. Troy, Troy, Troy squared. Um, I'm. J I'm just saying how it is with PayPal. Um, before I ramble on too long, he wanted Nether brick, and that is the one I forgot. I thought I had them all. I have netherrack, will that do? No, that won't do. So I'll be back for you in a moment. Hey guys, I'm back. I just took it from there. I thought I was going to have to run all the way back, but you know what, I just, I'm lazy. I'm taking that one. I'll get it done another time. So, back to Troy Troy. Oh, I missed that jump. And placement. Okay, next up is Paul E., who donated... Oh god, I hit the comma button. No. He donated the $5 and the 37 cents. That sounds about right. Um again, about the um PayPal uh I don't want to call it a tax, but like the uh, yeah, the PayPal tax. <laughs> Let's call it that. Um I am not counting that when I put this number up, and whenever I get these odd numbered donations like 537, it, it, I'm afraid that it might be after the PayPal tax, so if you guys, if I mess that up, please correct me. I want to be right about the true number you donated, and that's before PayPal tax, because this is about your generosity, not about what I receive after PayPal takes its cut. So... If any of these numbers are incorrect, I double check, but you know what? I make mistakes all the time, even when I double check. So if that's wrong, please yell at me for it and I will fix it. Paul E., you requested Lupusor! Plop. Um, next up on our list, we have Hope H. I will get to over here. Hope H! Hope H? No, hope, a hope F. That is an F. I'm sorry. Hope does start with an H, though, so in my defense. Um, hope donated a dollar and 23 cents. Thank you very much, Hope. Oh, um, jukebox. You're getting a jukebox. I don't have a record for you to play, but you know what? You get a jukebox. There you go. Okay. Dean W. on YouTube. He has known as the Slick Slime YT. 
he donated three dollars and he wants an extended sticky piston I don't know which way you want this extended but oh Nebris used his cheaty magic actually there's a redstone torch underneath this block don't tell anyone Oh, you just told someone. I, I knew I couldn't trust you. Oh, we got a full house tonight, and I just turned on the caps lock button. So the the new cheater has arrived, Justify. Oh. Yeah, you guys are learning all about his cheaty ways. He puts mine to shame. Okay, next up is Jamie S. Jamie S. donated a dollar and sixty six cents. He has asked for a rose on grass. How beautiful. So, <clears throat> I know this is sort of like two blocks, but for certain blocks, you do need a block underneath it. Um, so, I will accept this sort of arrangement, but if it's something that doesn't need a specific block underneath it, you're not getting to. Um, I can't, I just can't, you know, handle that kind of stuff. It's too much. Um, so, thank you very much, everyone. Uh, there's this side now first up is Felix J who donated pi to me that is uh, three dollars and fourteen cents and in return for pie he wants cake so there you go cake wanna eat it oh, I can't eat this cake okay next up we have Byron S who donated a dollar twelve Byron has asked for a pine sapling now, he did not specify that he wanted grass, and in my personal opinion, it looks better not on grass, because if you've ever seen pine, uh, they just shed pine needles everywhere, and there's no grass underneath a pine. That's just weird. Okay, so, so thank you very much, Byron. Awesome name, by the way. don't know any Byrons in my life, but, you know, that's such a cool name. Um, next up, we have Sean M., who donated $10.00. Sean is our first flame of justice of the night. Yes, go Sean. Because Sean did not provide us with a block of his choice. He gets the flame of justice. Yes. Thank you very much, Sean. Next we have Robert B., which, uh, yeah, that's a long name. Frat Rob Show. So, oh, okay, I'm going to parse this differently. It is Frat Rob Show. That is how I'm going to parse it. He donated $5. Thank you very much, Rob. Rob wants Lapis Ore as well. Now, <clears throat> I know some people want a unique block, and just now we've done two people with uh, Lupus Ore. So if you want me to change it, go ahead. I have no problem picking this, picking this Lupus Ore back up and giving you any block you desire, because I know people want like their uniqueness and... I don't want to get into w in the way of that by, you know, not releasing updates regularly about who donated what and what block they chose. So, <clears throat> if you want a unique block, just ask for it, and I shall deliver. Okay, next up we have Yvonne G. Um, she donated twenty-five dollars and would like to a shout out to Arizona. I think that's um. I don't know if she requested a shout out, but she's from Arizona. She mentioned that, and I figured, you know what, go Arizona. You guys, you guys are awesome. I've never been, but you know, I love the place. Or I, I love the Southwest. Just the, the views you can get around there are pretty awesome. Okay, um, the honeymoon period is over because now I'm a little bit mad. Uh, she's asked for. A cactus block, which ruins my whole thing, but this is the best I can do, because uh, I can't put it there because there's blocks, but, okay, so, <clears throat> I'm not too mad, it's, it's, it looks kind of silly, but you know what, you wanted a cactus block, and you get a cactus block, I'm like Oprah, you get a cactus block, you get a cactus block, okay, now that's not, that's not the worst, this next guy, he is the worst, Scott H., Scott has donated five dollars, of which I am very appreciative. But guess what he wants? He wants a red mushroom block. Yes, he wants me to make a red mushroom and piston it all the way into here. And you know what? I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna put a 
put a block here, grow the mushroom. I think I have enough space. Oh, creeper. Don't you go blowing up our shrines. Kill that skeleton. Show him who's, who's boss. Who's boss? Tony Danza's the boss. Yeah. All right, that was fun. So, <clears throat> you know, by the end of the video, you're going to see the red mushroom here. It's it's going to be a, a very brief clip, but you know what? You donated, you get it. So, thanks, Scott. Thank you very much, Scott. You're the reason why this video is going to take forever to come out, Scott. Everyone, thanks, Scott. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's cool. Don't don't harass Scott. He's he seems like a nice guy. Okay. Here we have Adam M, also known as Die Star MC. He donated a hundred and sixty dollars. Yes, that is an incredible act of generosity, the largest to date. And he can have any block in the world he wants, and he wanted Soul Sand. So you get Soul Sand. It was his least favorite or most hated block in the game. Look at that, it's just so creepy. Poor soul's stuck inside. I don't know what's wrong with this guy. Okay, and last we have Ollie B, who is Birdman Nom. Ollie donated $10, and he requests Red Mushroom on Grass. Now, whoop, there it goes. This I could accommodate. I don't know if I can keep it here, though. Nope, I can't seem to play... Oh, there we go. I don't know if anything can spawn there, though. And I can't keep... I can't have that torch there, so... Um, maybe if you want to change it to mycelium? Um, we'll see. We'll see. Um, oh, so that's it. I would like to thank everyone for donating. I am overwhelmed at the generosity... Uh, thank you guys very much, and without any further ado, here is me having pushed a red mushroom block into Scott's uh, little donation shrine. Thanks, Scott. I'm, I'm sorry for yelling at you. <laughs> hey, everyone. I'm back. And you know what? I'm going to make you guys watch this. I don't know if it's this is even... No, it's not even consuming it. So, <clears throat> it's... uh. I don't know if I might, I'm even able to do it right here, which is where I want to do it because that's the easy spot. Uh, I have done this before um, in in my mushroom farm that you saw a couple videos back. I did make one of these things, so it's it's possible. Um, let's put it here. See if it grows. Nope. So I think it needs a 5 by 5 area that goes 9 tall, and I don't know... At least that's that's the brown one. It's not even consuming it. So I'm guessing something is in the way. So here, if there's anything above it... Okay, so nothing's above me here. This guy... This guy might be at fault. Actually, it's probably those guys. Why won't you grow? Could be you. Okay, this is this is rough. I was expecting this to be an easy thing. I, th I was expecting the piston part to be hard. Woohoo! All right, we're jumping up here. We're gonna get rid of this uh, this little ledge here. Hello, Zisto. Okay, I could be completely wrong about the dimensions, but I think it's five by five by nine. Why? Why are you not growing? One, two. Let's get rid of you. I mean, I'm not gonna have to get rid of this anyways, so might as well do it now. Ah. <sighs> It's really hard to clear out enough space for these things. They're evil. They are demanding. It's more demanding than Scott, who who wants it in the first place. That's okay, Scott. I have a coworker named Scott. He's probably gonna watch this video and be like, 
He's probably <laughs> he's he's probably assuming I'm taking out my anger at him towards you, even though I'm not really angry at Scott. It's more of like a joking anger, but um, I don't hate Scott. I hate Etho. <laughs> oh, yay! There we go. Um, all right, that was fun. Now I have to get rid of these guys. Uh, I think I'm gonna do this block right there in the corner. <laughs> so gonna be that guy. I'm just gonna kill all these things. Wow. This is this is fun. This is gonna be a challenge, because I don't know. It's it just it's gonna be a challenge, I promise you. So I don't really have anything to talk about. Uh maybe I'll talk about what I'll do with the donations now that uh get I have more than enough for Sony Vegas. Um I guess I can put them towards other games. I get I'm probably gonna put them towards other games. So here we go. This is our first attempt. Um Torch and Piston. Put you there. Oh, there we go. I hope this bounces my way. Yes, caught it. No, wrong way. Oh, I hope I don't accidentally break this block. Yeah, it's it's good on there and the top. Okay, so this is the block we want. It's the block he wants. <laughs> I'm going to run out of uh, dirt. Never thought that would happen. Really? I only got three back? I was hoping to get a lot more than that. Okay. Whoa, I think that pushed me. So I think uh, one more in this direction ought to do. Uh, so two here. Another piston here. This isn't actually as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to have to push it up a bit more. But you know what? This is the perfect height. Well, minus one. I need this dirt. <laughs> It's going to come in handy, so I'll get it sooner rather than later. This fountain is a pain in the butt to get out of. So, after Sony Vegas, I'm going to start getting some games. <clears throat> I don't know what games exactly, but another thing I'm looking at doing is getting a new computer uh, to do rendering and stuff on. So that way, um, one, of the, one of the biggest time sinks for me is A... Uh, me actually making the videos takes times out of me takes time out of me playing, and I like to play a lot more than I like to edit and render videos. So sometimes that gets in the way. I think if I had a second computer, I could be killing two birds with one stone, since I really don't do that much editing. And you know what? There we go. So <clears throat> looking at getting a new computer. Uh, I'm ar I already have my uh, tax refund set aside for the very same purpose. You know, I messed up again. Got to stop doing that. Um, See, so yeah, I'm probably... Oh, it is at the right height. I thought I was going to have to push it down one. So, <clears throat> any new games that you guys would recommend I play? Because I played Borderlands, had fun with that, so I'll definitely be playing Borderlands 2 for you guys. Okay, this is precisely where it needs to be. Using a pick. Why am I using a pick? So new computer. Um, I'm thinking about getting one with a HDMI capture card so I can play P PS2 or PS3 games and record footage from that. So maybe I'll I'll be doing that. That's something I can't do on my laptop because, I mean, you can't just add a HDMI c capture card to a laptop. Uh, it doesn't work like that. So if you guys want to see me do PS2 game or PS, why do I keep saying PS2? I don't have my PS2 here. I have my PS3. Oh, we're so close, Scott. We're so close. Ta. 
Ta-da! Okay, thank you very much, Scott, for donating. That was fun. It gave me an opportunity to talk with you guys. I'm actually quite proud of this. It's, uh, it, it's just as good as it needs to be. <laughs> okay, so... <clears throat> Looking towards getting a new computer with uh, leftover donations and my tax return. Um, that's gonna be that's gonna be an awesome machine. I'll, I'll post the specs for you guys to drool over it um, and know that you guys ha oh, helped contribute to it. Those of you who have donated, um, I don't think the donations are gonna cover like most of it. I think most of that's just gonna be my tax return. Um, so, I mean, don't feel like I'm just using you guys for a new computer. I'm using you guys for a second video editing machine, because I think it's going to be the new i7 Sandy Bridge, so that way I can really take advantage of the uh, hyper-threading, get eight cores running, well, what is effectively eight cores because of hyper-threading. So that's going to be awesome. You guys are really going to... I'm going to be able to pump out videos faster than ever before using uh, Sandy Bridge, or Ivy Bridge. So, looking forward to that. Thank you guys, everyone, for donating. I appreciate it, even in the smallest amounts. Uh, keep up the good work, and you guys are going to love the ne the uh, ultra-hardcore stuff I've, I'm going to be putting out over the next few uh, months or so, because, you know what, I think I've sort of earned my place as a mainstay. I don't know how, you know, I don't know if that's going to be the case, but I, I feel that I've p made some amazing videos, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. You guys are going to love it! So stay tuned for more Ultra Hardcore coming up next.